we are now going to be looking at bar charts. And I just wanted to show you this bar chart to start with. So this bar chart shows you that there is a horizontal axis. That's the one that goes across, remember, and a vertical axis, the one that goes up. And bars are used to represent the data on each of these categories. You can see these bars here, one, two, three. When we're using bar charts, we must have a gap in between each bar. That's really important on bar charts. We need a scale, so we need to know how many things are being counted on each line. Okay, so that's one way of showing a bar chart. It's going up in groups of five, each increment is worth five. You can also have bar charts that are horizontal. So in this case, the horizontal axis shows the number of children, whereas the vertical axis is showing the methods of transport. So when we're thinking about the blocks, on this one, it's not going to have a separator. They should be separated really between the, the different blocks, the different columns. We're looking at house points and each circle, each picture in the pictogram represents 10 points. And if we have a look on the vertical axes, we can see that this one is going up in groups of five. So for everyone being 10 points, that means that Red House have got 20 house points. So we need to count up 5, 10, 15, 20, and our colouring in will be done up to 20, which is one, two, three, four blocks. Blue House, 10, 20, 30, and half of 10, which is 5, 35. We would go up to, we would draw a line across here and shade in everything below. Greenhouse, 10 lots of four, 40. Go up to 40, draw the line across on the line of 40 and colour in everything below. Orange, 10, 20, 30 and half of 10, which is 5, 35. Again, I'll draw my line across, 35 and shade in everything below. And it will look like this. Looking at these lines, number lines, we need to think about how much each increment's value is. Now what we need to do is think about the fact that there are 10 to here. How many increments are there? One, two, three, four, five. 10 divided into five equal parts each one has a value of 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. This one, the value of the number line is 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So each increment is worth 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. This one looks like it might be a bit trickier, but we just do exactly the same method. 25 divided by the number of increments, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I know that there are five, lots of five in 25. Each one has a value of five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. See if you can do this last one. 20, and there are increments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is it you have to do? Take your 20, divide it by the 5, and the answer is 4. Each increment has a value of 4. 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Using the information to complete this pictogram and bar chart. One picture is five carats. We can see on the pictogram that we've got the information for Snowy and Bugs Bunny, but on here we don't. And here we have the information for Fluffy and Thumper, 
but here we don't. We're going to work out what we need to do to complete both pictograms. So Fluffy has 20 carats. If each picture is five carats, we take our 20, we divide it by the five, and we have to draw four carats in here. Thumper, like 40 carats. 40 divided by five is eight, eight carats in thumpers. Snowy has one, two, three, four, five, six carats. Six times five equals 30. We'll go to the 30, we'll draw a line across here and we'll shade in everything below. Bugs Bunny, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lots of five is 50. We'll draw a line across here and shade in everything below. Using a bar chart to answer the questions about goals scored in a tournament. Which team scored the most goals? It's going to be the one with the highest number. So in this case, that's team E who scored 30. How many more goals did team A score than team D? We're looking to find the difference here between A and D. 25 and 10. 25 subtract 10 is 15. How many goals did team C and E score altogether? All together means we're going to be, that's right, we're going to add 15 added to 30, 30 add 15 is 30 add 10, which is 40, add 5 more, 45. Team D, uh, sorry, question D, how many goals were scored in total? This time, I'd recommend that we write the total number on the top of each bar and then add them all together using column addition. This time we can create our own bar chart using the tally chart. Using the information on here, we need to label the axes, the vertical axes and the horizontal axes. In this case, we will write the number of children on the vertical axes and label it with numbers and the favorite dinosaur we will write at the bottom. T-Rex, Triceratops, Raptor, Diplodocus at the bottom. T-Rex have five, so what would be a sensible choice for the numbers that we go up in? If we were to go up in ones, would it work? Let's have a look. Diplodocus is 15. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, it's not big enough to do one per increment. So let's think about two. Can we do twos? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Can't do twos. I could do fives. Five, 10, 15. That would be more reasonable. And here you can see that's exactly what's happened. Each increment has a value of five. Now it's important to remember that on the x-axis on the bottom, we have each block is labeled, the whole block is labeled. But when we go up, we don't label in between the blocks, we label on the lines. It's exactly five at this point, not here. 